We just dug four holes with four different post hole diggers so that you don't have to, to figure out which one of these post hole diggers works the best, but we talk about which one of these might work best for your upcoming fence project. So stay tuned. Let's get right into it. Today I want to talk about the mistake I made several months ago when I talked about digging in rock. And it's these, right here. This is it. The reality is, I said, these have no place. That was probably four months before I moved to Florida and found out why people would own one of these. So what we're gonna talk about today is, what is the best set to own? If you're gonna have a set of post hole diggers, what might be the best set to purchase? So we've got all types of these. I've got a wood handled one, I've got a fiberglass handled one, I've got a steel handled one, and then I have a very special one that I wanna talk about last. So things to consider when you're buying a post hole digger, comfort, safety, and effectiveness. Let's start off with the wood handled ones. They're very flexible. These are incredibly light. If you just lack a little bit of muscle, pick up a set of wood handled ones. They're super light. And we'll just go down to 24 inches today. The problem with the light ones is I don't particularly care for how flexible the handles are. It may seem like the lack of weight is gonna make it easier to pull them up out of the ground, but it's gonna hurt you when you come into your heavier clays and harder digging conditions because that weight is beneficial when you're really trying to stab into the ground. I think we're about two feet. The next one that we have is the fiberglass handled. So the fiberglass handled ones. Why would you want a fiberglass handled? Well, maybe you're digging around the utility and you want to be safe. These are non-conductive. These are a little less flexible. People often use fiberglass handled tools when they're digging around utilities. However, uh, you still have to be extremely careful and you can't be jabbing into the ground all willy-nilly because you could still harm a utility and that could cost you thousands of dollars. You still need to exercise extreme caution even using a fiberglass handled digger. It's probably gonna be about, yep, that's it. A uh, very similar performance I would say to the wood handled ones. Um, you feel the flex when you're trying to hold things and that's one of the things that I don't particularly care for. That flex can kind of be a nemesis and make me work a little bit harder. What I would consider to be a drawback to fiberglass is splinters. If you ever get through that coating, it can be very dangerous. Or if you even get a crack in these, they start dying immediately. But that fiberglass, if it gets into your hands, is terrible, terrible. Personally, fiberglass is not my favorite. I probably wouldn't even use these around a utility. I would prefer to exercise extreme caution rather than just, you know, stabbing at it all willy-nilly. That's the fiberglass. Then we have the steel handled ones. Already I can tell that it just bites in a little bit better. I think the weight is an advantage. The extra weight, while harder to pull out of the hole, is actually a benefit. The harder the clay soil you have, the more the weight helps you out. People that are not experienced running these fatigue a little bit faster, but like I say, there's a trade-off because that extra weight when pulling out of the hole actually helps you when digging. So evaluate that carefully. Yeah, we're basically there. 28, 29. These are very popular amongst the fence builders. I had several people tell me in another video that I did how much they liked this particular brand. It rhymes with Snowball, just in case you wondered, but we do have a tape measure over here. Oh my gosh, they have not paid for a sponsorship. This is brought to you by SWI, don't you forget that. Sponsored by nobody, which means we can say whatever the heck we want to say, and we do. This one was my go-to, but as you'll see if you look really closely, you'll see that one jaw seems pretty straight and this one seems a little open, like they're not parallel when it's all the way open. And that is because over time, using your force to spread those things open, they basically bend. And that's one of the things I don't like about this. Over time, I've had these bend and then we have to bend them back and then it just gets weak and that metal fatigues. Eventually it will break or it'll just keep bending so much that you need to get rid of it anyhow. The handles are great, but the jaws is what I have problems with. The nice thing about the wood is the wood flexes so much, it's really hard to bend the, the steel because there's so much flex in wood. You're probably gonna end up damaging your handles before you damage the jaws. And my last one is this highly modified, highly unique, simple post hole digger, S-I-M-P-O-L-E. This is the hammering post hole digger and not like anything you've probably seen before. Uh, they're very heavy, I will tell you that. Yeah, 
And that's it, I would say. So just how deep I was able to sink them with each bite. But what we have here that makes it a little bit unique, when we're in heavy roots or really heavy clays, we can actually take these handles out and use them as a slide hammer to stab into the ground. The way you release that is you have these detents, put that pin right there in that detent, release it, swing it over here, right there, we can rotate these out of that and then that's when we can slide them up and down. If you encounter a root, that's where we can this could give you a huge advantage. What I'd like to do now that we've shown you all this stuff is I'd like to throw it to Dan and let Dan see how these do in Wyoming. So hey Dan, would you check these things out? Let me know what you think of them. Jeez, holy moly. Let's talk about some postal diggers. You might say that they're pretty simple. We're gonna dig a hole. I'm gonna dig a hole, you're gonna watch. Ground's hard, it's really hard. There are times in this video that we may have to get out of bar because the soil is so hard or some potential rocks. We are also gonna time this so that, that way we can compare this to our digging versus driving versus pounding video. We got a little bit of criticism there that we didn't use postal diggers as a competitor in that video. Sorry, I don't mean to be breathing like I'm out of breath. This takes no work at all, it's effortless. But just imagine how much easier it is to do it in a lot softer area, like Florida. Right there, we're at 24. So we got like six more inches to go. I think what we'll do is we'll actually keep all of our rocks separate. Mongo, big, big rock, big rock down hole. That was another big one. We're there, we got it. Seven inch hole. So seven inch diameter hole all the way around. And we managed to pull all those rocks out of there. We didn't run into the bedrock until about two feet down. So up until then, those were great. Even after we got the rock out, that was still an awesome tool to have. You change your mind on post hole diggers at all. In this area, I think there's times where I am gonna reach for the post hole diggers. There's times where I'm gonna reach for that shovel and a bar. If I'm gonna be pulling a decent amount of rock out of my hole, where my hole's already so small and my rock is so big, absolutely, I'm gonna be going for that shovel and the bar every time. But where I know my soil is good, I could definitely go to these. They are better than I thought they would be. They're pretty easy to use. You don't have to sit there and, you know, jostle the weight of these the whole entire time. In the past, to start my hole, I've had to use a bar even just to get this hole started for the first 24 inches, I was able to use nothing but the postal diggers, which is really impressive because they just hammered right through that hard pack clay. If you look at the very beginning of that first video that we did, digging versus driving versus pounding, to get that hole dug by hand with a shovel and a bar took a lot of energy and a lot of effort and a lot of time for me to start that hole. And this didn't take nearly the effort. Might have still taken the same time, but it didn't take nearly the effort. So if you guys missed the video of digging versus driving versus pounding, make sure and catch that video right here. And if these postal diggers, if they're not complicated enough for you, make sure and check out this video right here where we have a completely backwards pair. Dan with SWI, we are Wyoming's fence company and you have a good dang day.